Hello and welcome back to the Great Unexplained Debate. Um, I've got Sarah, Phil and Fred with me and we're talking about fake mediumship or fake mediums in general. Um, I was going to talk about the uh, testing of mediums. Now, this is a real bone of contention with me because um, I won't say who, but I used to have one psychic who was constantly asked to be tested and in front of the people who wanted to test him would say, yeah, absolutely, test me, test me, test me. As soon as they walked away, he would come up to me and say, can you tell them I can't do it. I can't do it because it's wrong, I can't do this or that. So it, you know, me as the producer mm. of this particular person had to go and tell the other people because you know, I, was, I was sticking up for mm. the, the people that work mm. for me, which I always do. And uh, I, I said, unfortunately, I can't allow him to do it because he's too busy. You know, but, but that was someone who was afraid of being tested. The mm. other thing you get is, I can't be tested in a, in a clinical environment. <laughs> I can't be tested and I can't just turn it on and turn it off. You know, again, my arguments are, is, I've always said to every psychic, you pick the venue and you know, let's go to a, a haunted house where you've done a show with us or where we know is haunted. Let's go to a theatre where you've done a stage show perhaps, where you've picked mm. stuff up mm. before, let's go there. And for the turning on, turning off thing, is when I'm paying them, they seem to be able to turn it on and turn it off <laughs> very, very well. It's a bit canny, that, isn't it? And when they go to a theatre show, because everyone's paid them and they're mm. earning 30, 35 grand a night, they can sit there and go, uh, cool, I'm turning this on now. So I'm just wondering whether, whether money is tied into mediumship, whether you can turn it on or turn it on, but the energy of money turns mediumship yeah. on, I it's, don't know. It's like you say, isn't it? Um, especially you just mentioned mediums that do these performances in front of audiences, turning it on and turning it off. You don't have the audience waiting in the wings for the medium then to go, five minutes, five minutes, be on, <laughs> be on, be five minutes. Right, it's on, come on, come on, I'm, I'm ready to go. You don't have that. So. I, mean, I, I, I just think there are so many ways they can do it. There are so many. I mean, we've, we've touched on this before, but there are so many ways psychics can get information about anyone. Mm. Your credit card. As soon as you pay for a ticket on your credit card, they've got it. The things of, of buying on auction sites. I mean, there's these these allegations of of, of um, some mediums when their stage shows sell out, they actually buy the first two rows of seats themselves and sell them on auction sites uh, for more money. So they're actually happen. duping their victims yeah. out of even more than normal. Um, and if, if that is the case, if that's what they're doing, I mean, that even makes them even more despicable mm. to, to mm. whatever they're doing. But once you've got the credit card details, you can get information on anybody. Mm. Think of the queues outside. All you need is one person to talk to you in a queue and say, oh, God, I want to see this person for ages and ages and ages. I hope he picks up on my grandma. Who does you hope he picks up on you? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my name's Carl. You're like, yeah, yeah, fine. You write it down on a piece of paper, banging. Yeah. And of course you've got the, the, there are people out there who will say yes to anything. You've got your plants out there, which the other people in the audience wouldn't even know are there. And if you're earning 30 or grand a night, you can easily pay a, pay a plant a grand yeah. and they will keep quiet mm -hmm. <laughs> for a thousand pounds an evening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's so many ways they can do it and none of it is psychic. I, I've just, I've seen it all and I don't believe that they talk to the yeah. dead. I, um, I, Again, what you just said, I, I remember watching a, a programme uh, years back uh, about a psychic show and um, how brilliant this chap was, um, bringing out all the members of the audience, telling them bits and pieces about them and the house and all that kind of thing. And then it actually showed you how they went and did it. They had somebody canvassing on the doors to these people, obviously got the information from when they bought the tickets, mm -hmm. canvassing on the doors to these people, um, looking at the house when they walked around, looking at the gardens, picking out and noting things, giving the information onto the guy. And, and it wasn't a serious thing, it was actually done so they could show you how, how, it was, you know, mm. how they did it. Mm. And, um, and, and again, that's, with you just saying that, it just reminded me of what I'd seen. So there, there are many ways you can do it. If, you know, if you're desperate enough, shall we say, yeah. there are many ways you can do it. But also, there, there, there's these ridiculous gallery shows that uh, the, the mediums call them, you know, where they, they, they've got an audience and they're standing and talking to people. I mean, I think they, you know, they should be banned. Mm because you know, people at home don't realise they're a heavily edited show. These aren't live, these are edited shows. Mm. And you kind of think these people <coughs> walking away crying their eyes and going, oh, I can't believe you got me This is the one with the <laughs> medium with an audience, a lot yeah, of, an audience. Yeah, just with an audience. There was one on recently where a dog came through. Did you see that? <laughs> 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 a very well-known medium, not unknown but to again, us. You, 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 again, you get that point of, you know, when you get down to the, 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 the dregs of the barrel and channeling dogs or getting possessed by dogs or whatever you want to call it, this is the other thing. There's, there's, there's <laughs> always to the audience, does anybody know this there's dog? A, there's, One there's, said there's yes. Always way, there's, always way, <laughs> there's always a way around it where, where you get this, this, um, uh, this, this 
there's a negative to every positive, so they'll come up with a, they're getting possessed, and then you talk about possessions, yeah, oh, I can get possessed easily. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly on the internet, they all outside and go about being possessed, and then the media will go, no, no, it's not possession, <laughs> it's channeling. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's completely yeah, different. Yeah. I still, you know, I still speak in a, in a funny accent, and I don't speak, and I don't know anything that that person that's, would know. That, that is always, that always makes me laugh. That when when they're saying, yeah, I'm speaking to, I've got somebody from um, a Roman soldier coming through, and he speaks in perfect English <laughs> lingo. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. why why is that? And exactly, 